Нет, нельзя. Ну давай. Просто чтобы обидеть шах хотя бы раз чего Good day, dear chess lovers. Today I am joined by Russian TV uh, My Planet. Zhenya and Vitya. Vitya joined me today and we hiked together and also played some chess. They were playing pretty well. Zhenya all the time was developing good strategic ideas and in the end uh, we agreed to a draw because twice they managed to announce me checks. So first I decided to show my guests Henry Kasparian's most famous chess puzzle. Интересно. Сейчас давайте вместе рассмотрим этюд знаменитого армянского шахматиста и этюдиста Генриха Каспаряна. Задача заключается выиграть белыми фигурами. Так. Probably you all know this position, where after sacrificing two pawns and a bishop, white is forking black rooks. Uh, here is how the solution goes. First knight e8, threatening knight g7, check followed by bishop f5, checkmate, king g6. Now black wants to get out of this difficult situation with a move like g takes h4 or g takes f4, but there is no time for it and white is starting to land heavy punches one after another. And there comes another pawn sacrifice g4, threatening mate in one. If rook e5, then this time white is sacrificing the last piece and after rook takes f5, white is playing knight g7 and thus we have a deadly fork from where there is no escape. So we see one of the most picturesque positions uh, one can ever meet in chess puzzles. Красиво, просто красивейшая идея, и это один из самых красивых шахматных этюдов в мире. Ну я считаю, что все понятно. Вот предельно все ясно, да? Да, да, все ясно, понятно, очень красивая Uh, so and then we played a game of chess. Uh, my opponents were consulting with each other and they opened up with English opening. King's English variation is on the board but with e4 they sidestepped the main theoretical battle and it was in here that after knight takes e5 I decided to have some fun and went for bishop takes f2 sacrifice. The sacrifice is of course inaccurate but okay, uh, this was fun. Uh, king g1 is uh, the most accurate move, but king e1 was made and that allowed me to uh, gain compensation for that sacrificed bishop. Soon I got a really good position and prevailed. This is how the game went on. And yeah, at this point we can already say that my position is completely winning. e4 looks very strange, but okay. With that move, they managed to switch the rook into the game. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't remember uh, distinctly how the game went on up to the end. But uh, soon, a few more moves later, at one point, uh, we agreed to a draw. In the end, uh, we agreed to a draw because twice they managed to announce me checks so thank you guys for this game it was really very interesting and this game i will analyze and will publish on my channel thanks again for joining me for the hike and for this chess game no thank you so much thank you so much yeah, yeah. for bringing us here actually and for showing us uh, all this beauty and uh, and for the chess as well